opportunity that seemed to come out of nowhere. A man reached out to a woman online with a job opportunity she was definitely qualified for. Problem was, it was too good to be true. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live with what you need to know to avoid being scammed. Kim. Yes, this woman says she posted her resume online on the website provided by Michigan Works and a short time later she got this letter with an amazing offer, a home job. She could work for ho from home making $30.75 an hour. The problem was it was just too good to be true. When Karen Littleton was asked to interview online for an at home data entry and administrative assistant position, she said OK. She then did an extensive interview and was told she just needed to pass days of online training and tests to qualify. Five day training period every day you log in by 8 a.m. Make sure you're online at Google Hangouts and you'll go through the training process for the position. She then got an amazing offer. Oh my gosh, at home working $30 an hour, perfect job. I was very excited. She researched the company. It was a legitimate company, the Universal Health Services Company in Pennsylvania. But then she got this text asking her to pay $510 to move forward. And I said, wait a minute, why am I paying for anything? I get upset when I called him out as a scam and he heard him and disconnected our communication right then and there. Suddenly, she was blocked from sending anything to the number. She came to believe someone impersonated Universal Health Services. She reached out to the company and got a response. Someone had been impersonating their employees. Yeah, I'm doing a test assessment. I think I got the job. I was like, no, you don't have the job. I'm sorry, it's a scam. And it hurts me. And I'm like, okay, well, if I can stop it, I will stop it. And that's why she's sharing her story. I reached out to the real Universal Health Services, not the one that sent this fake offer. And I was told that it is not their employees who made this offer, that they are getting reports of scams around the country. And they are asking everyone to be aware. And if you are a victim, they want to know about it. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. So, Kim, this is not good for the company. Are they going to ask for a criminal investigation? They are a victim too. The company is a victim too, and it is wanting a criminal investigation. It's asking anyone who's been contacted by these scam artists, these con artists, to contact them and also to make a police report so that it can be, inve it can be investigated from multiple angles. Back to you. All right, Kim, thank you.